Ruzi, you've landed back in Australia and one of the first tasks was to come to the club. Um, your first day was, I think, on Wednesday. Um, what were your impressions since you got here? Yeah, it's funny. I, I left uh, Melbourne back in uh, 95, so I'd never been to Arden Street. I think I, I played here back in about 1981 or 82, but never seen the facilities. Um, so, yeah, super impressed by the facilities. And then I think the fortunate thing for me is I knew a lot of the people, so coming in was pretty comfortable, you know, knowing Johnny Blakey and I've had a lot of discussion with Brady and, and Nobes I played with as well. Um, Gavin Brown and I played state footy together, I've got a lot of time for him and of course everyone's seen Boomer play over, you know, 20 years, whatever he played sort of thing. So yeah, it was pretty comfortable, it was good. And then just talking to the players, um, you know, Jack Zebel and Benny Cunnington who were sort of drafted when I was, you know, coaching the, the Sydney Swans. So I've had an association as a opposition coach both with Sydney and Melbourne so no I really enjoyed the, the first time I got here and really uh, comfortable. The facilities in particular was it something that took you aback a little bit just how advanced and, and how state-of-the-art they are? Yeah it's funny I mean when we were doing the, the search for the coach it was um, I knew the facilities were pretty good but we sort of discussed it and um, yeah, Johnny Blakey, I've had a long association with Blakes, Johnny Longmire, you know, Brett Allison. So I was sort of aware of, of how good they were because they'd been a little bit like Fitzroy. They'd sort of been a downtrodden club from a facility point of view and obviously Fitzroy never survived. And then for North, to see the evolution of North into you know, these state-of-art facilities and the ground itself is just in magnificent condition. So it's really, I mean, for someone that started playing footy in the 80s and remember the Crackers and Blighty and you know, David Dench and, and the history of the North Melbourne Footy Club, to come here and see how advanced it is, it's pretty cool. So talking about that, your perceptions of the club from the outside, what drew you to working with the club? What was it initially that got you interested? Yeah, for me, football's... A obviously about people um, and Benny Buckley and I have an association our boys played a bit of footy together he was with the Eastern um, Bulldogs and Tyler was too Jack was a little bit younger so we, we spent a lot of time together in Sydney so when I saw the and I've, I've sort of gone backwards and forwards with Ben over the years and spoken about footy in general and run into him and just a great person so when I saw the phone ring and picked it up and answered it yeah, it was sort of when Shorey was still there and I've got an association with Shorey as well and so we discussed what that might look like. So I was really comfortable, I guess, from day one just to see where it was going to go. Wasn't anything firm when we first spoke and then things flipped on its head a bit, unfortunately, with Reese, um, and then it just evolved to what it was. So, so really about the people, you know, as I said, John Blakey, Arch, you know, I've known Glenn Archer for a long period of time, Brady... Um, yeah, so that was probably the initial thing. That, and, and strangely enough, I mean, not that I remember it fondly, but getting beaten by North in the 96 Grand Final. So there's this sort of weird sort of connection with North and, and Sydney, with Johnny Longmire, who's now coaching the, the Swans, who was my assistant coach, Brett Allison, I mentioned before. So this, there's this sort of funny connection that I've always had with the, with the North Footy Club. And Yeah, but I think it was just about the people that I knew and the confidence that I had in the people to continue the conversation. 